All right, wife's asleep, kids asleep, let's play some video games. My name is Nat John Smith and today we're playing Software Inc. Last time I um, started the building of the new HQ and um, to be honest with you I got quite frustrated in the process um, because planning, building, replanning, changing the stuff and talking at the same time um, yeah kind of felt um, um, not optimal so I decided to um, to fix uh, the stuff um, the, the the furniture um, and so on after the episode um, and that uh, took uh, two to three hours but now I'm, I'm quite happy with the result and I'm going to show you what I have done now. So this is the entrance area. Um, it's by no means perfect, but I'm I'm happy enough. Let's let's say that we have a um, reception desk, the security desk. We have some uh, benches or waiting chairs to sit on. Um, I guess they won't be used for now, but maybe later when when we also yeah maybe we'll we'll um have someone work at the reception and see if we get any any contracts from that um then we have the the hallway um it's it's quite large uh possibly too large but yeah um, i'm not gonna change that anymore the stairs uh, downstairs uh, are only temporary we'll figure out how we want to do that later on then we have the elevators um uh in the f in the right on the right side we have the meeting room um you can see i also um made it a little bit smaller and made this uh back area um a little bit uh wider that's just because uh, in the future this will be used for um printing or, or for for shipping the the printed um uh floppy disks and 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 whatnot um, and the delivery module needs two spaces wide then we will make an, an elevator um, for the um, how is it called the um, the elevator for the conveyor belt we'll need uh, another tile and uh, then we need some space for maintenance guys to to go along I almost forgot about that so uh, back to the meeting room um, yeah we have now a, a table for um, that's uh, 12 people um, to to have a meeting here um, yeah it's nothing too special but um, it it fills the criteria for acoustics environment oh I now see there's not enough light that can't be right I guess I guess it'll have to update also the temperature should should be fine as soon as there's someone in there right oh no let's fix that uh, electric radiator and ventilation um, yeah now it's good also now the lightning works um, oh actually let's look at it in this mode so it's all lit up but now the grid is visible so let's not do that um, this is the temporary very temporary support room um, in the last episode I forgot that we need a <laughs> the um, a room for the support team so i guess that'll go somewhere else uh, maybe in the in the um, next floor but uh, for now it's uh, yeah i i use this this now unused space um, also the servers are now here and yeah that's unused as well um you can access the the room for the support team uh, via the uh, launch um, I decided to move the um, canteen away from here and put the launch in there 
just because the uh, this needs less space. Um, yeah, just some sofas and I guess we have a look at this. Hold on. Also no temperature. Um, let's see. We have this heat pump also by temperature outputs. Okay. That only works for offices or reception areas. So we have to manually do that for um, this room. Good to know. Effectiveness minus 20%. Yeah, we don't care about that now. I still don't think that we need effectiveness in a non-office room, but I'm also not sure about that. So yeah, that's the lounge area. Then we have uh, two restrooms, one with shower, one without. Um, if I remember correctly, the shower is needed when people go to work with the um, bicycle. And we don't have any, any parking space for bicycles yet. I also don't know if we need the correct temperature in here, but Maybe maybe we put these. Um, do I have those um, floor heating vents? Not under utility, really. Maybe function temperature. Yeah. Um, so at least they don't freeze. And it will get really hot in the summer, so... No, it won't. That that it should be fine. Uh, maybe that's n also not necessary. Yeah, that, I'm that, that makes heat for 50 square meters, and that's what? Eight. So, you know what, we'll, we'll remove this. And if the game tells me I have to put them back there, then we will do it. And here we have the canteen. Uh, with the uh, vending machine, mini fridge, uh, espresso machine, and some tables. Not looking too nice, but should be fine enough. Also, no uh, heating, so let's put that in. Um, and maybe we will need to cool this room down. I don't know. Let's let's leave it like this. Okay, um, so uh, what's left are the offices. On this side we have um, Team Anvil office with John's um, private office. I also moved them back there instead of here. Uh, I don't know, it just felt, um, yeah, felt better. I uh, can't really describe it. Um, we have a little window so there can be some socializing between John. Um, also, I think we need, need to assign this to John. Um, and also we have to assign this to Team Anvil. Uh, but everybody can go through. And this is also... Hold on. Team Anvil and everybody can go through. Um, yeah, they have their own uh, espresso machine so that they don't have to go that far to get some fresh energy. A little couch and yeah, the um, desks. Uh, nothing fancy here. Um, I should really should have uh, recorded this session in the daytime. Yeah, sorry about that. We'll have another short look uh, as soon as people are coming in here. Um, and yeah, that's the Team Sound Cauldron office with Jane's private office. Let's assign this to Jane. And these two rooms to Team Sound Cauldron, but everybody can pass through it. Um, also, this is support 
Um, yeah, uh, I, I made a different arrangement here with the with the desks and uh, and the couch uh, espresso machine as well. Yeah, um, so I think we have everything that we need, or at least we have the same amount of stuff plus the meeting room that we had in in the in our small tiny HQ down here. Now we will adjust these uh, paths. Um, I guess we'll start with parking. Vertical parking, is that what I want? I guess so. And here's the bus stop, so we can't put anything here. So we will make this um, the hold on the path. Can't I? Nope, that's not what I wanted. Just make it straight. I want this to be completely filled. Can't build path on top of a path. I sure can. Come on. Um, if I hold shift, yep. Um. This needs to be path as well, come on! Can't go through buildings. Uh, that removed some, interesting. No, I destroyed too much of it. So, let's remove this part. Okay, let's start over again. I want this to be yeah the path. And then also Yeah, I guess that's good enough. That's not exactly what I wanted because it's not perfectly in line with this um parking lot here, but yeah. Uh, good enough, good enough. Now let's do this like, come on, snap, snap here. We need to do it like, <sighs> why? It's really kind of annoying. Come on. Okay. No idea why it does that now. Nope. Nope. Sorry, I really thought that would be much smoother. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Uh, now everything's gone again. Okay. One last time. I'm really sorry. Maybe I have to do it like this. Yeah, no. Now I have uh, uh, um empty space here. I don't want that. Now this doesn't get filled. Okay, if I start from here to here, okay, and then from here to here to here, okay, and now from here to there, yes, so from here to there, and, ah, uh, come on. the right way to do it. It isn't. Wow. That was really annoying, but okay. Now we have a pathed area here. Parking lots. That looks kind of weird, but I guess I guess that's how it is. Um, yeah, I guess. What else do we need? 
let's uh, let's start the new day and have people adjust to the new to the new office. Um, where are you going? You're going home. Yeah. Goodbye. You passed the fire inspection. Nice. Okay, that gets dirty instantly. Maybe we'll need a uh, second um, cleaning uh, staff soon. Um, yeah, speaking of the meeting room, we will have to adjust the teams in order for them to be used. So Team Anvil employees, John, you are now leader and the rest is secondary. Oh, and that was a mistake. You are everything. And um, you lead again for the design phase. And now, if I, if I'm, if I remember correctly, then they will go on meetings. Sometimes. No crunch phase. Uh, and Team Sound Cauldron um, employees, Jane is your leader. There was, uh, hmm, maybe I, maybe I'm missing something. Oh yeah, here meeting being held. Really? Oh yeah. Let's let's watch the meeting. Yes. Very good. Now you're going to be way more productive, everybody. Nice. Um, what are we working on? Hero of Clowns is still in the design phase. We'll have to start marketing for that sooner or later. Also, we could use more support stuff. So I guess we will add three more uh, desks here. Um, also, why did we lose so much? Oh, yeah, because we, we were building a new HQ. That's, that's why, right? Yes. Uh, how much did we... Did we um, use of our money? 700,000. That's, um, I guess, okay. We still have um, really, um, r r really a lot of money. So, um, yeah, but we're, we're, we're going to put that to good use. Um, I want to copy this setup <laughs> and put it here, three of those, and you also get um, um, these cubicle walls. So now we can hire employees. We need we need guys for marketing. I have no idea how many and how skilled they have to be, but we are going to put them in the same team as support for now. So when there's no marketing stuff to be done, they can answer the phone. Um, No need to be filtered by trade, make them compatible with team support. Medium salary, yeah. I guess. Uh, let's see. You are... Oh, can handle internal disputes, external disputes. Cannot create press videos. Maybe I should have taken... Um, the most expensive ones. Yeah, yep, you know what, forget forget about that, let's um, up the salary to high and do that again, yes, that's better. Okay, so what do we have? You have 
three stars in marketing, also uh, some 3D network and hardware skills. Um, skys skyscraper prefers working on upper floors. Yep, that's not happening. Can't stand dirty, slow eater. Yeah, we actually, I, I guess we, we stop caring about these. Um, you are improve effectiveness with support and my yeah okay you're a leader you could be you could be the uh, leader of the support team maybe um, you're an artist for 3D that's good uh, you are designer for everything. That's also good. Network hard work, yeah. Uh, I'm. I I don't really know what I'm what I'm looking for, so I can I can't go through my thought process. Um, um, I guess I guess I guess we will take uh, Stacy. Or did we have another one with? with leader um, capabilities. It was just Stacy. So we're going to take that Stacy. Okay. I don't judge. Um, wha that's one. Hold on. One. Then... Um, I guess we'll take read because of the um, artist skills plus 3D and uh, 3D programmer skills and also one star in network um, too. And yeah, I guess. Um, I guess we'll take Galen because of the uh, 3D and network skills and also because of the designing capabilities. Um, yeah, that's free. So we have those three here. Um, should we manage the roles here? I, I don't like this screen actually. I, I, I like this one better. So, um, I guess everybody should have support as the primary role. Um, yeah. Hold on. And uh, who was the, the leader again? Yeah, it was Stacy. So let's do this. So you can go on meetings as well if you if you like to. Okay, so that's that. Um, how do we look with the other teams? We have six desks here plus uh, plus one and six desks plus one. So um, Team Anvil could use another guy and Team Sound Cauldron you could use two other guys really yeah that's team that's the whole team sound cauldron one two three four is anyone on vacation probably um okay so let's see if we we can do some specialization here. 
um, show me your development skills uh, I guess we have need for artists maybe this will be the more artist heavy team no I, I guess we should we should get uh, balanced teams maybe we'll try to make those good at 3d so let's um, see what we can do for education here yeah um, yeah let's say team sound cauldron will um, will in the future make the um, 3d editor so it's finally time for education um, you know what three stars in a 3d programming one star um, 3d artist and 3d developer so we will we have one two three four uh, five we can hire two guys uh, one artist one designer and both um, programmers as secondary role let's maybe remember that um, and then let's have a look at team anvil team anvil uh, let's say we'll focus on uh, system no system plus audio let's say we'll will not focus yeah let's say let's say this team is for game development uh, 2d game development so no 3d skills needed uh, audio skills 2d skills system skills also no network no network stuff for now okay so John um you will I have two points left and I can spend two so you will never be able to design a good network hold on we'll, we'll leave John for now because um he will stay around and uh, longer so maybe he will we want to design network games with him as th as the lead designer yeah so probably um ignore what i said and he will get two points in network he can't design 3d things then okay i don't know yet but you get um let's see do we have two stars system designers apart from yeah john and galen oh so galen is the other guy who can who, who, who can actually do um some designing so he will get a second star for audio um and how many yeah okay we need um i'm just trying to sp spread the stars out evenly more or less uh so we have we have john plus galen with two stars in system so we will make you uh, go on education for system designing um, and sherry has an has a point left um, so we have only john that has two stars in audio design uh, galen is learning that right now um, how many people have we got that have two stars in 2d design it's also only John, so Sherry. Let's do this. 
and programming skills we have 2201 2201 3201 2201 okay so audio maybe um let's see maybe we want one with three stars in system yeah let's do that one with three stars in 2d and two stars in audio two stars in audio so okay john what are we going to do about your education um yeah i, I I'm, I'm just going to do it what the heck uh sometimes in the sometime sometimes in the future we will design something that has to do with network and he will be able to do it no 3d skills that's okay i guess and you get uh, artist skills in 2d as well it's done um we will also need we need two artists here do we have one two three okay one artist here and one designer here okay so hire an artist with secondary role programmer that fits to team anvil and ignore yeah priority 2d and audio okay let's let's take all three then i don't need to filter it and one is for team anvil the one without 3d skills so audio audio plus 3d that's actually quite nice audio uh, he can also do some marketing stuff okay uh, Kenneth you you're going to get hired for team annual and team sound cauldron needs an artist as well we will take um shall we take him three d artists we, uh, no we can't even do something uh three d related no. oh we will take we'll take him he has uh audio and three d yeah okay and then we wanted to have a another designer for um, for team uh, sound cauldron. Yeah. And this one is an artist as well. That's. Oh yeah. Now now those are. Um, the lead designers so they have the creativity thing game designer and audio tool designer and 3d editor designer that's actually nice um no idea how to do 3d designing though network and system non-binding contract won't take that Yep. Yeah, um, fixed rate. And please pay it at a fixed monthly rate regardless of actual hours. So, okay. That's uh, all in contract, I guess. Yep. Yeah, uh, numbers. Join us. And now, 
fix the roles. Kenneth, you are um, programmer and artist, and if need, if you have to, you can do some design work as well. No artist. Oh yeah, that was the that was the problem that we had here. No artists. Okay. And team sound cauldron. You are well, you're everything. Um except uh service and numbers you to change rules like this okay um yeah wow again this episode is already quite long and we didn't even do one day but um yeah such I such is life <laughs> um i guess we'll make a cut here Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun um, and have a good one. Bye bye.